Hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today I am doing, I'm getting a pork butt ready. So this will be a two day, but one you'll see it all in one day. <clears throat> I bought a pork butt for 99 cents a pound at Fred Meyer. And you, if you watch my grocery haul, you saw that I bought two of them. And so I'm going to take the smaller of the two. How many pounds is this? This is seven pounds. So I'm gonna take this one and, and these are bone in. I'm gonna put this in my bowl and I'm gonna get this ready to marinate overnight. Actually longer than overnight because it's it is right now, I think I got the perfect size bowl. Right now it is uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. So it's gonna go till in the morning and I wanna get my uh, my cowboy candy. Okay, so back in um, to, or September, right on September, yeah, I cooked or I canned up cowboy candy with peppers, all kinds of peppers out of my garden, which by the way, I use it all the time. So um, I use it in all kinds of recipes, but I canned up the excess brine because it's too good to throw away. It's got the flavor of the peppers. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's delicious. I am brining this pork butt overnight. And I'm gonna cook the pork butt on a, the Traeger. I'm gonna put it on in the morning and slow smoke it all day until it is fall apart tender and delicious. And look at that. So literally a quart of cowboy candy brine. And I'll end up turning this before I go to bed tonight. I'll turn it over so you can get the other side a nice bath as well up the mess on the counter here just bleach wipe these two okay so cowboy candy on and we'll see you tomorrow when i get it on the trigger all right guys i can't wait it's gonna be delicious so put this put your brined pork butt into the refrigerator and um off to bed we go well not yet but you know what i mean <laughs> Okay guys, so it's the next morning, obviously, and the brine really penetrated into the meat. So um, I put it skin side up, and we're gonna let that fat just render down and baste. I've got the probe set so I can check that at any time without opening the trigger. And I've got the trigger set at, well it was 275, or no, 250, so 250, and we'll just check on it here in a couple hours. It's already been on there about an hour. Yes. The probe is absolutely wonderful. And all you do is push this to check the probe. Or one, you can have two in there. See, the meat's 56 degrees. So, there you go. I'll be back. Okay, we are five hours in. I'm going to check the temperature on the meat. Let's see what it says. 178 we're getting up there okay i'm gonna turn this down a little bit slow it down we'll turn it down to two 250. um look at that though it's a beautiful oh my gosh it's so beautiful and i can tell the candy part of that brine has just it's caramelizing in perfection i love it i love it so much all right can't wait to dig in. Yep. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to be making sourdough um, hamburger buns to put this beauty on. The probe says it was 203. That's plenty. And you can tell the meat is really soft by how the pork goes in. So I'm going to get a lot of this fat off the top and I'm going to pull it. So like this, get this fat cap off. It's done its job. Oh, and I'm just gonna lay that over on some foil. Make sure I make sure I get all the meat out of there. There's some meat. Look how tender that is. It's just shreddable. Shreddable, incredible. Huh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Not gonna lie. It's delicious. Okay, so get your fat cap off as much as you can, right? You don't want all that fat in there. It's got enough fat rendered through it that we don't need it. We don't need it in there, in the mix. Okay. 
any like like layers of fat that are in this shoulder because it is a fatty cut of meat. That's what makes it so darn delicious. And then I'm just going to start pulling it off, pulling it off the bone here. And I can let this rest. I just want to get this bone out of here and then I'll let it rest and, and pull some more. I made some homemade barbecue sauce. I have really, really good sourdough. Here we go. There's that bone. Now you know it's tender when you can do that with the bone. Get that bone out of there. And you know it is done, right? Those crispy bark pieces. And there is a beautiful layer of bark on this. Okay. And I would, I'm going to tell you the, um, bones out. So I'm probably going to cover this with a, um, oh yeah, I'm going to cover this up with some foil so it pulls easier in a little bit. I mean, it's really super hot right now, but got a good smoke ring. Look at that, how beautiful that is. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Okay, and I will show you, hopefully I'll show you a picture of the uh, pulled pork on a bun here in a minute. Um, but right now we're just gonna keep pulling and get this all pulled so it's ready to go. And this will be lunch, dinner. Now I could can this um, actually, I could can this up. I've done uh, pulled pork can before, and it cans up wonderful. So don't be afraid to do that. Um, yeah, it's delicious. And it holds its texture. It doesn't get mushy or anything like that. It tastes wonderful. All right. This is a lot of meat. <laughs> All right. I'll be back. Ooh, I better do a quick taste test. Let's do a let's do a bark test and yeah, there we go. Little crispy ends, burnt ends, and mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Perfect. I used applewood and absolutely wonderful. So that was on the Traeger from 7 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. So it's a long, slow cook at two. I was at 275 for a couple hours and then I dropped it down to 250. 250 is perfect to do um, pork, but, pork butt. Did I say tenderloin? It wasn't tenderloin. All right. And now when I add this to a sandwich, all I have to do is add some homemade sweet and spicy barbecue sauce and some coleslaw on top. And you got the best pulled pork sandwich on homemade hamburger buns. All right. I hope this keeps you inspired to come back next time. If you have any other questions on pull, um, Traeger cooks, leave them in the comment section below because quite, quite possibly I've already done it but I might be able to answer your question. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna tell you, that is delicious.